Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to evaluate expressions with two variables. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So for numbers one and two, we have a and b. a equals four and b is going to equal three. For numbers three and four, we have x and y. x is going to equal two and y equals 10. So let's jump into number one where we have a plus b. So we wanna plug in the values for those variables, a equals four and b equals three, and then evaluate. So let's rewrite our problem with the plugged in variables. So for a, we need to plug in four, plus for b, we need to plug in three. Now we evaluate. So four plus three gives us an answer of seven. Let's go on to number two, where we have parentheses 21 plus b and parentheses divided by a. So let's plug in and evaluate. So 21 plus three, end parentheses there, divided by, plug in four for a. Now in this problem, we have multiple operations and steps, so we need to use the order of operations. So any parentheses? Yes, that's where we need to start. We have 21 plus three in the parentheses, so that's going to give us 24. Bring down everything we did not use, so the division sign and the four. So we end with 24 divided by four, which gives us six. On to number three, where we have x times y plus four squared. So whenever you have a letter next to a letter or a number next to a letter, it's going to be multiplication. So let's plug in and evaluate. So x is going to be two times y, which is 10 plus four squared. Now we need to go through our order of operations. So any parentheses? No. Any exponents? Yes. So that's where we start. Four squared or four to the second power. That does not mean four times two. It means four times four. So that gives us 16. Bring down everything we did not use. And we'll go from there. So we have multiplication and addition. Any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's what we do next. We have two times 10, which is 20. Bring down our addition and the 16, and that's where we end. So 20 plus 16 equals 36. And lastly, number four, we have 5x plus 3y minus 30. Now remember, whenever you have a number next to a letter or a letter next to a letter, that means multiply. So plug in five times two plus three times 10 minus 30. So we plugged in, now we are ready to evaluate. So any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's where we start. Now we have two multiplication problems, so we can work our way from left to right. Five times two is 10, and we'll bring down everything we did not use. And now we can do the other multiplication problem. Three times 10 is 30. Bring down everything else in the same exact order. And now we have addition and subtraction. Now addition and subtraction are on the same level, so to speak, of the order of operations. So we can work our way from left to right. So let's do addition. 10 plus 30 is going to give us 40. Bring down our subtraction and the 30, and that's where we will end. 40 minus 30, which gives us 10. So there you have it. There's how you evaluate expressions with two variables. Plug in and use the order of operations to evaluate. I hope that helped. 
Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.